What's up guys, here we go, back to the Goodwill bins. Today I'm headed back there to buy more shoes for my subscribers in order to help their businesses flourish and provide inventory to the people that don't have the ability to get out on a day-to-day -day basis like I do to go thrifting. So I'm happy to say we're definitely growing this process. With that being said, let's jump out into the Goodwill bins and see what we can find. Basic pair of Vans slip-ons, easy 20 bucks. Pair of Foot Joy Soft Joy Women's golf shoes. Pair of Converse Ox, another $20 pair. Found this pair of Merrill Outdoors shoes. Very dirty, but in solid condition. Found this made in the USA felt hat, but there was a bit of wear on it and not a lot of comps, so I ended up leaving it behind. Digging through the handbags because sometimes I find shoes, and today I did. I found this pair of Skate High leather Vans. Continued to dig around. I don't think I found any other shoes besides that in the bags. I did find this pair of slides, Adidas slides. I have this pair in my personal collection, and they're good sellers, so I picked them up. digging through. I found this bag for my wife. She really liked it uh, when I sent her the pictures of it, so I bought it for her. Unfortunately, there just was not a lot at the Goodwill bins this particular day, so I did not get a whole lot. However... guys so that was honestly a pretty weak experience out in the goodwill bins the problem being that there was just not very many shoes there was a lot of buyers and very little inventory so i think we're gonna have to hit the bins another day then as i started my drive home i had an idea to try a new thrift store that i have never been to before and boy oh boy did it pay off good morning So right here we've got a pair of Sauconies. I was able to pick these up. Very clean. $8.98 was the price before discounts, and so I definitely threw those in the basket. 
Moving on, found a pair of Nikes. Very good condition. Once again, I believe 8.98 for those. Just kind of going through. I did find this pair of KD peanut butter jelly. And I ended up putting them back because they wanted $25 for them. Here I found a pair of Tropical Vans in the brown colorway. Picked those up. Found a pair of Brooks. Excellent condition. I can't believe how clean these were. And so I picked those up as well. They wanted $8.98 for them before the discounts. So I got them. Now it's worth noting here that all of these shoes were part of my reseller lots. You can learn more about that at the end with a linked video. And all of these shoes that I purchased at this thrift store have sold by the time you've watched this. Here's a pair of Under Armour shoes. This particular pair resells for $35 to $45, and they are already gone. Found a pair of J Sport flats. It's a good outdoors shoe in the basic $25 to $30 range. Going through and finding a lot of singles. This is a pair of Crocs clogs that are fur lined, uh, faux fur lined, and those resell for $45 to $55 used. It's a more elegant style Croc clog. Going through, looking around. Here's one of the singles that I found earlier, a pair of Adidas Camouflage Youth Shoes. Here is that other Crocs clog. Super happy to have located that. I would have loved to have sold these shoes myself. However, I wanted to pass them on to my subscribers and help them fill up their stores and make that money. Looking behind the bin, I found the other J Sport Flat. I did find that pair of black Nike running shoes as well. Just a basic pair of black Nike running shoes that we picked up. This pair of Reebok proven to not be a very good find, so I put them back. I found this pair of black and white K-Swiss, and I passed on them, but I wish I would have thought them over a little bit more. Uh, this pair of Adidas, they wanted $24.95. $24.99, so I passed on them. Pair of Ultra Kush Vans Skate High, triple black. Picked them up. This pair of Dingo Leather Boots. Genuine leather Dingo Boots. Really nice condition. Definitely picked those up. They had some solid sold comps for similar styles. I did pick up this pair of K-Swiss. The comps on these were in the $30 to $35 range, plus shipping. A pair of Nikes right here. Basic, clean pair of Nike running shoes. Picked them up. Then I went over to the youth section, found this pair of Reebok Kamikaze in the purple and orange. Pick those up. This pair of Nike running shoes. I ended up putting them back because they were asking too much for them to be worth it. Pair of Vans Authentics in sort of a salmon or mauve color. Going through, found this pair of triple black Nike Harachas. Missing the laces. I replaced the lace. Laces and... Those went out in a reseller lot as well. Timberlands, they wanted 25 bucks for them, so back to the shelf they go. A pair of Nike running shoes, they made the cut, so they go in the basket. Moving on down the line. At this point, I pretty much filled up the cart with shoes, and I'm going to go find shirts now to average down my cost. I did build some shirt reseller lots, but uh, there was not a lot of interest on them, so I pulled those down, and I'm going to sell all the shirts myself. I bought the shirts with the intention of selling them myself, so uh, it's no problem. I had some people ask if I was ever going to do clothing lots, and so I said, sure, we'll try it. Uh, it didn't work out, and so I am back to selling the shirts myself. Super happy about it. Tommy Bahama button down a Ralph Lauren Bob Camp shirt 
This is called Report Collection. This is an Eddie Bauer Outdoors shirt. This is Tasso Elba Island. A good $25 shirt there. Savane, a good shirt. Another Tasso Elba Island shirt. Nautica in the colorful plaid. We've got a Campa Moda Campa, or Moda Campia Moda, rather. Hawaiian shirt, a Columbia Hawaiian shirt. Super pumped about that. Uh, a extra, extra large Columbia plaid button down shirt. Very happy about this selection. I will sell these in uh, no time. Super pumped to have found this Peace Frogs shirt. Now, Peace Frogs typically has to be a vintage to sell for tons of money, but I can get a solid $20, $25 off that shirt. Then we have this Nike Golf color block shirt. Uh, polo shirt, really nice. The comps on those, solid $25, $30. At this point, I feel like you're. I feel like you're following me. No, I, I, I didn't see your van out front. I was gonna yeah. track you down. How you I doing, did. man? Good, you? Good. Looks like you're finding some good stuff. Yeah, I went to the bins this morning and I was like, I was struggling. Was it bad over there? Yeah, you know, like the regular guy. Like yeah. I feel like there wasn't a lot of inventory, and the yeah. regular guys Way too many people got there were... 20 minutes before me. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't even been there today. Really? It's, it's, yeah, it's like. So after seeing my friend Jason at the thrift store, I talked to him for about 10 minutes and we discussed reseller things as we do. But basically the point that I wanna make is that when things don't work out your way, always reframe your thinking, reframe your perspective to look for the good, look for the potential, look for the opportunity. If you guys wanna learn more about the reseller lots, go ahead and click this video right here or check out this video right here and I'll see you on the next one.